This is super unrelated, but I just found one of the beads to the back of my earring, to my one of my Tragus earrings, that part. And I was literally going to vacuum my room, but I found it before I vacuumed my room. Amazing. beautiful people and welcome back to my channel um, I apologize in advance if you can hear my fan um, spring is upon us and it is currently 84 degrees outside um, my room faces the Sun and also has poor ventilation so the AC is on but it's it's, it's doing nothing for me therefore my fan is on um, just if there's a little bit of noise in the background but anyways if you read the title of this video, which I'm assuming you did because you clicked on it, then you know what we're doing today. We are going to be doing a blind unboxing of some new perfumes that I ordered from, I think it's pronounced Dossier? Dossier? I don't know. I'm not French. I assume it's French. Dossier? That's what I'm going to call it or Dossier, whatever. Anyways, it literally just got delivered to my house today and I was like, let me grab this camera and record an unboxing video. So I ordered four scents all together. Um, so when I was on the site, um, I was just looking through like different scents um, and when you click on it, it kind of recommends a, a second scent for you to like pair it with. So that's what I ordered based on. Now I'm going in blindly because I don't know what any of these smell like obviously. And um, I kind of just found some names that I had heard. Well, one of them was based on one of the, I think one of them was based on a name that I had heard. I think it was the YSO Black Opium, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm messing that up, I'm sorry. I'm new to this. I'm trying to be a scent girly. Um, literally, all I own right now is my Fenty perfume, which smells great, by the way. And then, like, Bath & Body Works body spray. Um, but I do want to be, like, a scent girly. I am an influencer's dream. I have been influenced by um, the influencers who are like, yeah, this is my everyday scent, this is my gym scent, this is the scent I wear before I go to bed. Am I gonna be doing all that? No, but I, I just wanna get into like, you know, perfume um, and, you know, body sprays and things like that. Um, so let me actually open up my email so I know exactly what I ordered. And then also the reason, another reason why this is a blind um, unboxing and, you know, is it a swatch? No, because it's not makeup and I'm not checking like the colors. But, you know, some people are just like, oh, if you want to try like the sites like Dossier that um, provide dupes for like the high end brands, go to the store, smell it first, see what you like and then order based on that. I ain't do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't have time for that. I, I, I could make time for it and it would probably be wiser because then I would know what I'm ordering. But I was kind of just like, mm, whatever, don't really care. Let me just try it. If I don't like it, I'll return it. So, yes, so the first one is Ambery Vanilla, which is this one. This is the boxing that it comes in, by the way. I think it's cute, it's simple. Um, simple packaging, I mean, and then it tells you the scent name up here. This is Ambery Vanilla, and that's the one that is um, supposed to be a dupe of YSL's Black Opium. And if I'm not mistaken, it told me to pair that with Gourmand Patchouli. If I'm not saying it right, please, please don't don't cook me in the comments. If anything, correct me in the comments. Um, so that's this one. Again, I, I do like the packaging. I think it's nice and simple. Nothing too crazy. Um, and again, the, the what's it called? And that is supposed to be a brand called Mugler, Muggler, I don't know guys, M-U-G-L-E-R, and it's a scent called Angel. Um, the next one is Ambery Cherry, which is supposed to be a dupe of Tom Ford's 
Lost Cherry. And for this one, well, for all of them really, I just read like the um, description of the scent. Um, so that also helped me to, what's it called, make my choices. Um, and then of course, like I said, it tells you like what is a nice scent to pair it with. And then I did read reviews as well. Um, and then the last one is Ambry Saffron, um, which is supposed to be a dupe of, oh lord, <laughs> um, MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540, Baccarat, Baccarat, I don't know. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it on the screen so that y'all can, you guys who are more cu cultured than I can, um, yeah. And then I just have this, uh, sticky note, oops. I just have this t uh, sticky note pad that I'm gonna be spraying the scents on because I don't want to necessarily spray it on myself right now. Um, shout out to Towson University, my alma mater. Focus, focus. I actually think I got this when I was working for student activities. So this is like a s seven seven year old notepad. Doesn't matter because that's not the that's not the. The purpose of this video so yes let's get right into the unboxing I know I keep looking at the LED instead of the instead of at you guys I don't know is it the LED the LCD I'm looking at the screen I'm looking at my reflection instead of looking at you guys is the point that I'm trying to make let's get into this unboxing I'm actually excited I am excited so I'm gonna open so this is what looks like and it says iconic sense designer quality no markups and this is the card that's on the um, I want it to focus here this is the card that comes with it and it tells you about the scent which I'm gonna read in a second um, but this is this is this is oh wow this is actually a really nice size bottle it's the I think it's 50 no this can't be 50 yeah, it's 50 milliliters. Interesting. I don't know why I thought 50 milliliters would be a lot smaller. Um, fun fact, I took a cocktail class and they had like a 50 milli milliliter measurement thing. So I don't know. I, I guess I just assumed it was like the size of like a shot or two. But this is a pretty good size bottle, especially considering the fact that it's a dupe of, um, you know, like a high end thing. So. So this is the um, dupe for YSL's Black Opium. And, oh, I guess I can spray it on here instead of the note cards. But just to give you guys a description for those who are like me and don't know what that smells like, um, the top notes are mandarin, pear, pink, pepper, and licorice. The middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and the base notes are cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm excited see so yeah you can just try it and they give you the option to return it if you don't like it but this is what the bottle looks like and vanilla and it also says like what it smells like on the bottle and then it's just clear behind so I'm excited I don't know why I'm excited oh this smells good I think my mom has this or has had it in the past before this scent like smells very familiar it's actually a little bit nostalgic I feel like my mom had this before or something similar to it I do like this this is definitely a going out smell like going like dress up and go out scent I like this oh the top is magnetic oh wow look that is so cool. Wait, don't embarrass me. Okay, but y'all get the point. Not that being the highlight of this whole thing. That's the first scent. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and it said that it pairs well with the gourmand patchouli. So I'm gonna <coughs> kind of inhale that. It's like. I feel like it's one of those scents where like a little goes a long way because like it does smell nice but I can see it getting a little bit overwhelming if you spray too much um, which is exactly why I wanted to test it out on a note card instead of my skin because I don't want to walk around with um, this scent on me all day and like it's kind of like filling the room a little bit so 
but it smells good uh, this is this is a this is a grown and sexy scent but don't take my word for it because i'm new to all this stuff so like all of these are probably just gonna be like oh my god, my god. um so this is the second one not it rolling around in the bottle where are you going um so this is the second one this one i can kind of see why it would pair well because they have some of the same notes on it um, but this is the gourmand patchouli and again i don't actually know if i'm pronouncing that right but that's what we're going with um so the top notes are mandarin berries passion fruit um the middle notes is patchouli honey and plum and then the base notes caramel or caramel uh vanilla and cocoa i'm actually gonna close this box because i can literally like like the smell is like literally overtaking the room so i'm gonna close this one the uh, scent number two is gourmand patchouli i promise you the fact that the top is magnetic is about to be my favorite part of this entire unboxing anyways so let's see what this one smells like oh that's nice This one is softer. This is a lot lighter. It's not as overpowering as the first one. This this feels more this feels more um, floral. Probably not. Well, I, I don't know. It smells. It reminds me of flowers, even though it's like more like fruity. I get this. The, anyways, it doesn't it doesn't feel fruity to me. It feels more like floral. I don't know but it is a lot lighter and it says it pairs well with this one so it's like I've also never layered my scents before I know that's something that people do and obviously because you know the website recommends pairing some of these so like I'm gonna just sniff these two cards at the same time <laughs> okay I get it Yeah, no, I can definitely see how these two smells complement each other. Especially because, like I said, this one is a lot more subtle and a lot more light. And this one is kind of like strong and overpowering is not a good word. I feel like overpowering has a negative connotation, but it, it's very like, I think pungent is the word. No, I can see how these complement each other, though. I'm glad that I took the recommendation to pair them but also i took the recommendation because i'm trying to learn how to be a scent girly and so i was just like well this could be a nice starting starting point so but that smells good i like both of them so far so far so good i was afraid that i wouldn't like how these smell because like ironically enough i want to be a scent girly but like strong smells make me feel like nauseous so i'm glad that so far they're not like I don't know what that was i could have used my words i'm i'm glad that so far they're not like overwhelming all right so this one is the amber ambery cherry i'm expecting this to be a lot more floral um so this one is cherry oh no maybe not wait did i say floral cherry is a fruit i'm thinking of cherry blossoms that's why i said floral as you can tell I don't know anything about this <laughs> but I'm gonna learn that's that's the point I'm gonna learn so this one is cherry almond and cinnamon and then the middle notes are cloves rose jasmine and plum which I guess is a little bit floral um, and then the base note are Peru balsam balsam b-a-l-s-a-m tonka bean or tonka bean and vanilla and I did also want to stick to more like van vanilla scents as well um, and this is the Tom Ford lost cherry and the fun thing is I don't actually know what these real scents smell like so to me there's really no no comparison and I get to save a penny for it so ooh, ooh this is fruit fruity <laughs> no the cherry the cherry is definitely pushing through on this one this smells nice this is giving like summer this is giving like sundresses and summer mm, this is 
It is giving cherry blossom. I was right. No, this is like. It's de it definitely smells like cherry, which of course is called ambery cherry. But like, yeah, this this is like put on a sundress, going going on like a picnic date, or like maybe brunch, and you want something like super light. I like this. This might be my favorite so far. Okay. Okay. The first two were like given like grown and sexy, put on a gown, some heels go out. This one is more like everyday type smell or everyday type scent. I like that one. Um, and then the last one is, I like that one a lot. This one is ambry, ambry saffron and I don't know what saffron smells like actually. Not, not. Every other one coming discombobulated in the box. Hello? Um, so this one, the top notes are saffron, orange, and blossom. Middle notes, jasmine and plum, and cedarwood. And then the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. So I, I'm I'm kind of seeing why um, certain, certain scents are paired together because they have like similar notes in them. This might be the one I don't like. <laughs> um, mm, this one smells like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> what is saffron? I know I've seen saffron before. I know it's like that reddish brown stuff but like is it okay because a flower came up that was purple and i was about to be real confused is it made from a flower yeah whatever whatever scent is supposed to be pushing through on here is very subtle because i just feel like i smell alcohol it's not bad though but it's isn't it's not doing anything so now i'm gonna smell these two together um, because it said that they pair well, so I'm just gonna smell these two together. Okay. <laughs> I do feel like they complement each other. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like they complement each other, but like the ambery saffron by itself, I don't know if I would wear it like that. What is this a dupe of? This is a dupe of the MFK Baccarat Rouge. It doesn't stink, it's just, I can't tell what it's supposed to smell like. <laughs> but I will, this is, this is, it's giving like, um, I don't know why, but it just makes me think of like a very classy, very elegant, let me not even finish that sentence because I feel like it's gonna be offensive. I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> it just reminds me of like, and I and I and I don't mean this. I'm not trying to be shady or anything. It just reminds me of like an elderly woman, like something that like a, a older woman would wear. Like it's just it's just very like it gives me like rich auntie, but like rich elderly auntie, and I don't know why. I think it's I think it's starting to grow on me actually. I feel like the more I sniff it, the more it grows on me. But it definitely does pair well with the Ambry Cherry. No, I, I do like them together. By itself, Ambry Cherry is giving night, is giving, no, this one is the one that's like walk in the park, picnic, sundresses. Um, but together, it's definitely, it's giving elegance. It's giving classy, it's giving like, not satin, velvet dress. And heels, it's giving gala, it's giving ball. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> please, please don't trust my description of these scents because it's not even based on how it smells. It's based on like what it feels like to me. So, and I feel like that can change, that's subjective between people. So like, I don't know if anything I'm saying will mean anything to y'all, but I do like these scents, um, so, all together, I paid $140 for all four. I know, that's a lot. It's, it's a lot for me, 
but when you consider that these are dupes of like high-end brands you know the the YSL one was $29 the Gourmand Patchouli was also $29, and then the Tom Ford, well, the Ambry Cherry and the Ambry Saffron, which is a dupe of the Tom Ford and the MFK, were both $49. Um, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure all of these retail at over, like all of the original scents retail at over $100. So, you know, when you put it that way, it's a steal. Um, and that's also me just trying to justify my irresponsible spending habits. But yeah that's all that i have for you guys i can't wait to like actually wear these scents like out now i feel like i need to like dress up and go somewhere um i think out of all of them the amber cherry is my favorite one just because i feel like that's more of a scent that i can actually see myself wearing more often like every day um it just gives me like super like spring summery vibes um it just makes me think of cherry blossoms um cherry um the YSL dupe, the Ambry Vanilla, is probably my second favorite. And then the Gourmand Patchouli and then Ambry Saffron would probably be my least favorite. Um, but I don't I don't dislike it. I feel like as I was smelling it, it was starting to grow on me a little bit. And again, like I can see how that scent and the um, Ambry Cherry complement each other. And I feel like if I wear them both together, it would smell really nice. But yeah, so this is this is like the beginning of my of my what's it called? Of my of me being a scent girly um, I don't think that any of these could be like my gym scent um, I still don't even know how I feel about people wearing perfume to the gym I think I think it's cool but like once once the sweat starts to mix in what does that really smell like but again I'm easily influenced and one of my favorite influencers um, Alyssa Ashley she wears perfume to the gym so it's just like why not let me see what let me see what the hype is about and her twin sister Arnell she talked about wearing um she talked about wearing perfume to go to bed and I was just like why are you going to bed but then I started doing it and I was just like I get it I get it that one was with my um my Burberry perfume um no that one was a, a toilette it wasn't a perfume um it was a toilette so that one was a lot lighter I think I got that at Ross for like 30 something dollars and it's been finished and I actually want to replace it because I actually really like that smell too and I think I wore it to the gym a couple times as well but yeah that's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed and again like <laughs> I, I'm new to this I really don't know how to describe scents like I've heard people use words like oh this is this is musty not musty whoa musky with a k <laughs> musty don't nobody want to smell musty but i've heard people say like oh this is a floral scent this is a vanilla scent um i i saw like some of them on the website were like wo woody scents and i'm just like i don't know what that means but sure but i kind of just described the scents based off of what it makes me feel like or what it makes me think of so i don't know how reliable that is but you know try it try it for yourself um, that's the best way to see if you actually really like something. But yeah, that's all I have for today's video. This was kind of fun. Um, I feel like this video is long-winded and long for no reason. So I'm going to end it here because I've been talking too much. But I really enjoy this. I'm glad that I bought them. Um, and I won't be returning any of them. I think I'm going to keep them all. Um, even the Ambry Saffron. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have ever tried Dossier before. Um, or any other um, sites that are like dupes of... Um, high-end brands or I know there's also like Scentbird where you can get like sample sizes of perfumes and things like that let me know if you guys have any recommendations of scents that I should try um, but other than that I will see you guys in my next video okay bye I'm gonna have to be careful not to spray too much I feel like I only did like one or two sprays of each scent and now <coughs> it's like I can taste it <coughs> <coughs>